Growing up, I was never one of the skinny girls in school. I was always an athlete. Something inside of me changed. A spark lit. I became forged by iron. I found passion. I found my confidence. I found beauty in my strength. I am Ashley I really As an athlete, I'm always looking for ways to push myself to become better. I train for my strength, I train for my speed, and I train for my endurance. Today, I'm gonna to show you some of my best kept secrets that I use to help push me to a better athlete and to a better fitness competitor. So for today's training, I'm gonna take you through three different circuits. Each circuit is gonna have anywhere from three to four different exercises, and it's gonna be high volume and high intensity with very little rest. This is circuit one of a three circuit training program. We're gonna start out doing four rounds nonstop of man makers, five reps, thrusters, five reps, and wall runs five times with 10 shoulder taps. First exercise are the man makers. You're gonna take your dumbbells, go down into a push up. You do a one arm row with your left arm, down a one arm row with your right arm, down, and then stand up straight and that's one rep. For thrusters, you're gonna take your dumbbells, hold them right underneath your chin. You're gonna squat all the way down and then punch up the weights as you're extending your body from a squat. Wall runs, you're gonna find an empty space on the wall and you're gonna walk backwards into a handstand position. Once you get secure, you're gonna pick up one arm at a time and touch your shoulder. That is one rep. And then back down. In between the circuits, you can take as much rest as you need. Remember, we're always trying to challenge ourselves, and the only way we can challenge ourselves is if we continue to push yourself outside your comfort zone. <laughs> so, take a minute break if you need to between circuits. I challenge you to take the least amount of rest as possible. You know, for me, for me training, it's not about just being physically strong, but it's about being able to mentally and physically overcome the obstacles that happen in my everyday life. Um, being a mother is extremely hard. I don't have to just be physically strong to take on all those responsibilities. I have to have the mental mindset that just because you have a bad day, it's gonna be okay. You can learn to overcome those hard times in your life by pouring it out into your, into your training. <laughs> That's hard. Circuit two, we're going to do three rounds of weighted burpees, kettlebell swings. If you don't have a kettlebell, that's okay, you can use a dumbbell. And then we're gonna do weighted box or bench step ups. First exercise is the weighted burpees, 15 reps. You're gonna hold onto the dumbbells, go down just like you're doing a burpee, all the way into a push up position. Your chest will go as close to the floor as you can. You're gonna stand all the way up, but you do not have to jump with the weighted burpees. Second exercise is the kettlebell swings. You're gonna thrust your hips forward and the kettlebell is gonna go up over your head and let the momentum come down and your heart rate's gonna elevate. The third exercise is the weighted box step ups. Put the barbell or the dumbbells on your shoulders. Make sure your core is tight through the entire process and you're gonna step up, doing 10 reps on each leg before alternating. Down two. A lot of times, as females, we put so much emphasis in reaching a number that is so insignificant, like the number on the scale. Sometimes we use that to measure our worth whenever that doesn't mean a damn thing. 
We need to start finding our beauty and our strength. Hit your PRs, hit your fastest sprint times, your fastest 5K times. Numbers like that are so positive, but only push you to be better. Setting small goals like that will eventually snowball you into reaching your bigger goal. Now we're entering into our third and final training circuit. This circuit is a barbell complex and it is my favorite training session of all because it is so difficult. And I cannot wait to show you this. We're gonna start out with a barbell, scale it to whatever weight you're comfortable with. You're never gonna drop the weight down. We're gonna do five times cleans, five times push press, five times front squat. You're gonna put it up over on your shoulders. You're gonna do five times alternating lunges on each leg and then five times back squats. With this barbell complex, we're gonna be doing five rounds. Let's do it. <clears throat> Starting with cleans, depending on your weight, you wanna make sure that you get up and underneath the bar. Use your momentum as the bar's coming up to catch it right underneath your chin. After your cleans, you're gonna go right into push press. Keep the bar starting right below your chin. You're gonna push it up right over your head to where your elbows lock out and right back down. The third movement is front squat. Make sure your elbows are up parallel to the ground. You squat all the way down to where your legs are 90 degrees. And you're gonna push up, pressing up through your heels, making sure your core is contracted the entire time through every exercise. The fourth movement, you're gonna put the bar, place it behind your neck. You're gonna go right into alternating lunges. Right leg, left leg. Make sure that knee is standing 90 degrees. Your knee is never gonna go over your toes. After you do five reps of that on each leg, you're gonna go right into back squat. Again, keep your core tight. Keep your breathing steady. Push up through your heels as you squat down, making sure that your knees never go over your toes. Failure, regardless if you're a man or if you're a woman, it's a mental thing that you have to overcome. Whenever you're reaching for your new PR and cleans and deadlifts, it's got to be that mental mindset. Do you already think that you're going to fail before you even start? Or do you believe that it's already happening before it even takes place. The mental part of the game is so powerful. It's more powerful than the actual performance. You have to mentally believe in yourself that you're capable of anything that you set your mind to. Rig for pain, for me, is knowing that there's gonna be pain and preparing yourself for it. You have to be ready. You have to be ready to push yourself. Every time you step into that gym, you have to have that mindset. You have to rig for pain. To find out more information about me, visit my body space, Ashley Horner. For more information like this, visit bodybuilding.com.